Hello everyone! First of all, I would like to say thank you for all your lovely comments under my videos. I really like reading them, so big thank you once again. Today I want to show you how to work with ordinary laser print as well as silicone stamps. First, I need to paint my box with chestnut wood stain from Pentart. This product is one of the best I have used so far. I apply only one coat as this is really rich in color, but if you need it darker you can apply another coat. My plan is to cover top of the box with paper, so I don't paint there. When everything is dry we can choose our picture. This video was created in partnership with Graphic Stock where you can find thousands of beautiful royalty-free pictures. It took me almost two hours before I decided what to use. They have this huge sale at the moment and you can click link in the description under this video to sign up for over 50% off. When I finally have made up my mind about what to use, I printed my picture with laser printer on ordinary copy paper. Lay your print face down on punch pocket and dampen it with sponge. Do not glue it straight away, as paper expands when wet and you will end up with wrinkles, air bubbles and a lot of unwanted problems. Apply thick layer of glue on your box first. Then position picture in the middle, use your punch pocket to smooth any air bubbles and add another coat of glue on top to make sure edges are glued properly. Apply glue as evenly as possible. As you can see, I left paper edges longer as I always do. This way edge of paper and box blend together and they will not be visible. Just use sandpaper to remove excess. At this point you could cover the box with varnish and finish, but I've, I've decided to add more green on sides. I found this lovely silicone stamp in my drawer and thought this could be a good idea to use it. If you don't have plexiglass to stick stamps to it, just use CD box instead.
Apply green and gold acrylic paint with sponge and create stamps on sides. I would suggest to stick top of the box with masking tape to prevent lid from opening. And voila, this is very easy. Now we can apply several coats of acrylic varnish with sanding down between coats and we are almost finished. When everything is varnished and dry, I've decided to add little bit of gold aging paste on edges, especially on top edge around picture. And last but not least is this brass handle which was too dark for my project, so I covered it with golden wax paste. If you would like to buy wooden box or other materials which I used in this video, please visit my shop at www.agiscraftshop.co.uk. Thank you for watching and see you soon.